Hello and Happy New Year. Welcome to episode two of This Week in Linux. Just a couple of things to cover today, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing, auto-tune for Linux. There was already a plugin for Audacity before, it was called Vocoder. I tried it out and it was kind of complicated, kind of, uh, kind of awkward to use. There's a new one from Tom Barron over at MIT called AutoTalent. I used it briefly. It's really cool. You can just tell it, don't allow these notes, allow these only. It takes a couple of seconds to run and then boom, you've got an auto-tune song. Awesome. Moving right along, everybody who's used GIMP, the image editor for Linux, Windows, Mac, whatever, knows that it's a very decent Photoshop replacement, but it's not perfect. One of my biggest gripes with it is the multi-windowed mode. Multi-windowed meaning you've got your image open, but you've also got a toolbar window, a layers window, a history window, etc., etc. I hate that. However, somebody noticed that in the 2.7 subversion commit for Linux, there's actually a single windowed mode being added. It means they're testing it out. I guess they want to see how it looks with it, and probably there have been enough user complaints they're going to give it a shot now. I'm really looking forward to this if they go forward with it, because this will be the one step closer to a full Photoshop replacement commit. Okay, let's keep rolling. You've played games on Windows before. You've played games on Linux, sort of. Depending on the distribution you're using, you might be fiddling with dependencies, you might be fighting with, with your package manager and whatnot. There's a product out there that I didn't know about till today, but somebody posted about today on Reddit called DJL. It's kind of like Steam for Windows in that it aggregates all of the available games, but not just from Valve software. Valve games are not available in this, so don't, don't, don't get all up in arms about that. Uh, however, all, the, all sorts of free games, uh, BSD licensed games, GPL games, all of these things, in anything you'd want to play that is open source or free in some way, you can probably find it in this. There are 121 current games. They range from first-person shooters, real-time strategies, MMORPGs, racing games, whatever you want to play, aside from like Farmville on Facebook or something. I, I gave it a shot, and I did have some, some qualms with some issues. Hopefully that'll be worked out, but it was mainly just dependency resolving stuff, and it was probably a problem with, with my install. I'm going to give it a shot on my Ubuntu machine later, and I'll see how that turns out. All right, the final story. I have to start off with a Gandhi quote real quick. First they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. Microsoft has released a career posting. They want somebody to lead their Linux and OpenOffice.org compete team. In the posting, they basically make it sound like they need somebody to come on because too many people are moving to open source software and to, to Linux and OpenOffice. I find that to be wonderful, and I actually have to kind of laugh at it because they've been saying for years how Linux is not a competitor in the, in the desktop market. Linux and OpenOffice will never be there. We're getting there, guys. All right, that's it for this episode of This Week in Linux. Thanks again for watching. Leave your comments, questions, and suggestions in the section below, or visit the website thisweekinlinux.com. I'll see you next time.